Too easy. Too easy! Beige swimsuit! Yes! Blue sand! I don't like sand! It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere! And where are you at, guys? Welcome to a brand new playthrough. This is going to be a demo for a new game called Minotaur. Um, so this is kind of like a point-and-click adventure -y sort of game in the style of Dagon Rampa and Zero Escape. I have the original message I got from Kosha Sound that sent me the game, so I'm going to read it out and uh, we'll get to it. Minotaur is a sci-fi adventure game that is highly story-driven. It takes place in an apartment complex on the outskirts of Nova, which turned into a deadly labyrinth for its tenants. It's up to them now to figure out who and why set up this elaborate trap, and try to find their way out of it. Minotaur takes inspiration from similar games like both the Zero Escape and Dagon Rampa series, as well as various visual novels and old-school point-and-click quests by LucasArts and Sierra. Uh, Sierra did all the King's Quest games, LucasArts, Star Wars, and other PC ROM point and click games. Um, full English voiceover. Each character in Minotaur has its own voice. Thanks, it's? Has its own voice? They're all it's. They're all it's in this game. It's one of those, it's one of those games. Thanks to the folks at Kosha Sound. You may recognize the actors from other games in popular Animu series like Tales of Zysteria, Battleborn, and Warframe. Warframe's an anim a popular anime series, and it's got more than one voice actor as just the Lotus. So, Brittany Lott is supposedly playing a character in this game, and she was saying on Twitter if anyone wanted to get the early demo copies of it so that they could review it or whatever, and I was like, Hey, I do less plays sometimes, maybe let's give it a go. So, I don't know anything about this game at all, I'm completely blind. And she was like, that's okay, you can still play it, and I was like, cool. So, the first thing right off the bat, I have one criticism, <laughs> and that is... There are no sound options. I, I took my volume on my computer down to like 20% and my microphone's like jived all the way up. Oh, it's got some red. Okay, is it- Tell me if it sounds okay. Ah! I don't know what this creepy girl thing is, this puppet, but she's got a question mark and robot eyes and holding a gun to her head, so let's play. Oh, of course, we can only play one character. I want to play the Emperor Penguin. No, I think it's a Rock Hopper. I want to play the Rock Hopper Penguin. That's a big fucking Rock Hopper Penguin. Oh, this dude's name is Nod. Huh. Nodding Simulator, like Sword Art. Oh. Oh, it's voiced. It's voiced. I don't have to do all the voices. It's voiced. Oh, my gosh. Mr. Pikes. What is it? Nod. Yeah. hurts oh i don't even voice myself okay well oh, oh this is gonna be an adventure i don't know what to do i guess we'll just go for it of course it does <sighs> you slept for so long and you still reek of booze okay hold on now that we're in the game i can bump it up a little bit let's see how it sounds how can you tell ollie i never installed any smell receptors she's a robot they're called olfactory receptors and i don't need to smell I can practically see it. Ew. I'm pretty sure that's Brittany. Also, I'm pretty sure that's Brittany. The first character. Anyway, Great, first you character. Pull yourself together and head out. Your night shift at the factory starts in half an hour. My first suggestion for devs for this game. Immediately, I would say, have sliders for volume controls. Especially voice volume and background music. Because the background music is going to be really high. And the voices are going to be really low. And it's going to be hard to hear not only me, but the characters that you recorded. People always make the mistake of doing the background sound either way too high or way too low. So you gotta you gotta have like a slider to adjust for that. And also if people want to read through it themselves, because I know Dodger likes to do that. Press hard to continue. She likes to turn voices, all voices off and do them all herself. So that's also something that you should add into it. Oh, crap. Why didn't you wake me up earlier? Oh, look, the little animated Voltorb anger veiny. By my calculations, 30 minutes is just enough. No, because I gotta go to the bathroom first and then shower. Just barely enough. Just barely enough. You, you fucking... really need some tuning, Ollie. Yeah, Ollie. But you're right. I have to get going. My boss will never get off my ass. Never. Exit. Look around. Workbench. So, Mr. Pikes, any word on that outfitter's license? 
I'm working on it, Ollie. You know it's expensive. How do you even manage to find clients for weapon enhancements without the permit? <laughs> I'm just that good, I guess. May I get a question mark? Yeah. Quick question I'm mark? Your clients have special reasons to work with someone who doesn't keep official records. Um, PHG-12. Yeah, let's do that. A sole witness. PHG-12 particle handgun manufactured by Slate Industries. It's almost completely weep, silent, weep, but lacks firepower. Weep, 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 weep. I'm supposed to take care of that. Hmm. I don't know what this 9, 8.9, 9.3 thing is. Oh, screwdriver. A screwdriver. Give me a screwdriver. The second most useful thing after a crowbar. Got it. All right, we got to collect the items. I have... I haven't played a game like this since, like, CD-ROMs. Since I was in, like, kindergarten. Like, 1996 or seven so i don't how do we how do i get out wait almost like oh oops being guided by some invisible hand wait what did i do can i go back a back a back key would be nice in case you accidentally do something like that and miss it Ooh. got darker maybe i should take a closer look at those triangular nodes on the left before leaving okay oh so you just bottom of the screen to return all right Nodes. Aha, that's it. The invisible hand never lies. Oh, node type A. Nodes are used to enhance weapon and armor properties. To use them, no, what, <laughs> what voice should I use for, like, just general... Nodes are used to enhance weapon and armor properties. To use them, node bridge of the... What? Node bridge of the right type must be first... Wait, must first be installed onto equipment. Which is a job for an outfitter. Once you have a surgeon, priestess, and outfitter, you can trust you're all set, unknown centurion. Alright, let's look at him again. No? Alright. And he's- Soul witness. No, nope, he's- almost Same thing. Alright. I would do more fluid transitions between the, uh, move- the drawings, because it's kind of, like, disconcerting when you're just jumping immediately like that. Data feed. The picture looks kind of blurry. And glitchy. Yeah, you must be using the wrong OBS settings because OBS is garbage. It's always been like that. Yeah. <laughs> you bought the cheapest data panel on the market. And a used one, too. Ugh. No, that's not it. I think something's wrong with our Axis power grid. Oh, the, the Axis... Where are the Axis powers? Oh, that changes everything. Hold on. I gotta... I don't have pants on, so... I gotta get... My other necklace. If we're gonna be the axis powers. I got my my iron cross, not iron cross pendant. Uh, perfect. It's just enough. It's just enough so you can see it. We're playing as the axis powers. I got my maker's mark. Wait. All right, my camera isn't <laughs> mirrored. It's good. We're good to go. All right. So I'm just gonna drink while they talk, and then I'll be a better judge for the game. Maybe I should turn the panel off, just in case. Do a Santa voice for the general notes and stuff. <laughs> no! <laughs> calendar. I like this calendar. We're taking those photos of Irene in our local club, Demon's Armpit, three years ago. He says it so, like, wistfully. It's pretty pictures, though. Uh, anything to look at here? Where's my... Can now look oh. at her. Performing on the stage of Supernova. Mm -hmm. I guess I should be happy for her. I guess. Wow, it's yesterday all over again. Irene, then and now. <laughs> Message of the blowing wind, erasing me, Maurice. I'm a fan. <laughs> Thanks. At least he appreciates it. Oh, artwork extras. Does that mean I can unlock my song? Alright, just did that. I'm a fan. Bash! Toes! Mart! Oris! Apris! Jess! Ward! And Nellis! Are the months. These are the months! I saw an orange. Orange! <laughs> Winter alignment. It's one of two alignment days. When Hades and Logan, both are stars, Rise up and go down at the same time. Oh, like the book Nightfall. That was such a good book. 
but only if you imagine all the aliens in it as the elites from Halo. It's a very significant day. A day off. How does she do that? Like, a day off. I don't even think I get a day off, like, for Easter. Where's that other one? There you are! That's one of two alignments. You said it already! Alright. Weekends. Weekends. What do we got going on? You literally have nothing on your calendar for the, the months of Bash, Mart, and Toast. Frame! Irene. It's still, it's still that girl. Mr. Pikes, do you know what moving on means? It means not keeping all the pictures you where you can see him. Sometime. Oh, thanks, Brittany. Wait, can I click that little dot around your head? Nope. I did move on. We're good friends now. Buddy, you sound so depressed to say that. Yes. Your ex and her rich husband living right above you. Oh, damn. Talk about healthy environment. It's probably just because you're a loser. You should throw this picture away and move someplace else while you're at it. You should replace the picture with a, a much better picture, like a picture of me. Oh, hold on. I can play as Britney's character. Boom! Yay, look. I'm all. What are your name? Ollie? Or something? I'm Ollie. I. Uh, you know, Irene. Did you should replace it with a picture of me! And they almost talked me into buying a D24. That's so many more dice numbers. Balcony. No. Ho homebrew! Uh, Gimme! I oh, can't even look at that right now. I, I'll look at it for you. Oh, I clicked off the game. Oh, oh, it's a catastrophe. Exit. Uh, there's an alarm panel. I think they're trying to trick me. I'll go for the alarm panel. Ollie, come on. Just tell me the code. Why is she there now? What? Got it. All right. I know how to do it. She broke up with me on the day of... All right, winter alignment. It's the 20th day of 15. Good. 2015! You do realize there are 10,000 possible combinations. This could take a while. Don't, I'm gonna get it. I quit! Balcony! I need some fresh air. You would know, Plague! But at least I can't hear Ollie from here. Oh, we're in one of the domes, like from Terra Nova. Terra- oh, this Nova Terra- this is the, the Earth of Terra Nova. I get it. I get it. Alright, Earth doesn't have two stars. <laughs> Silly goose. I think that was the last train for today. That was cool. Nobody knows why demons never attack trains. Demons don't attack trains because they're loud. Oh, no, they get horse in the mouth. Thanks to that phenomenon, trains are the only way to move safely between dome cities. I could never understand people who go outside domes willingly. Well, cause you wanna escape, escape, exit. Mr. Pikes. Yeah. I don't like where this is going, but yes. Do you want me to yes. call the police? Huh? What? Why? Because you've set the security alarm. <laughs> That's why. Why would I do that while I'm home? Beats me. I see nothing here worth taking, including you. Oh, that's not nice. But you got drunk and started mumbling about how this Arthur guy from upstairs was after you, so... Oh my. Ollie, I don't remember the code. Well, you did yesterday. Oh, see, I did it the wrong order. That's how I play video games. Please let me out. Not much of an assistant, are you? Hey, I am. You can always ask me for advice. I can't tell you the code, but I can help you figure it out. Help me figure it out. What is it? Use Ollie icon. Ollie icon. You can just tell me if you miss me, Mr. Pikes. I miss you. Tell me the code. I really don't. Let's look for something that holds sentimental value. In your life, that's mostly your ex. Yeah, I tried that with the picture. There's no numbers! Mason, what do the numbers mean? There's still no numbers! Alright then, off you go. <laughs> Those were good days. 23! Probably. 23! It's from yes, 23. Yes, I'll take yes for 23. So let me get this straight. Yes. You're using some date from your vacation with the woman who dumped you two years ago as a security code to your apartment? Yes. Jess is the sixth month. 06, 23. 06, 23. Easy mode game. I'm really impressed. 
I think you need to prepare yourself for a steeplechase, Mr. Pikes. The fuck's a steeplechase? Steeple... What? What the... What the Hades is this? Quit. <laughs> the the previous oh, day. Ollie, you know it's me. Just let me in. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh my god. Do you see that? What about all those repurposing threats? <laughs> I was just kidding. Having trouble, baby. Baby. Hey, baby, you having trouble over there? <clears throat> Please stop calling me baby. Come on, Naughty. Water under the bridge. Water under the bridge, so I'll keep calling you baby. More like a swamp. Ooh, drain the swamp! <laughs> drain the swamp! Shut up. Would you like me to ask Arthur to get help from that creepy concierge of his? Oh, I really want to meet the creepy concierge. No, I don't want you to ask Arthur. I'll figure something out. I'm waiting for them to throw in a jump scare for this fucking uh, automaton thing in the background. Half faded. Nod. It's not even, like, his name. She's just, like, reading her script and saying her emote, like... Nod. Disappointed! Yeah, sorry. What did you want to talk about? Did Arthur buy the whole building now and wants to evict me? Probably. It's related to him, yes. He's out to get you! You know how he's uncomfortable with us being friends? Can you please get this fucking automaton face out of the background already? It's really freaking me out. <laughs> Totally not my problem. I'm gonna see those dead ice blue eyes and upturned nose, like, in my nightmares. That's an understatement. Irene? Oh, who's this dude with his little implants going on? He looks like the doctor from the... the... Who? Oh, show. So. Irene, there you are. Ah, Sue. I knew I'd find you here. <laughs> oh, Gandalf. My old friend. I like what you've done with your beard. Nod. <laughs> Alright, so... Alright, read the line! Nod. <laughs> Arthur. <laughs> also nod. Ollie. Scoff. Go on. Have a drink at his place. Condescending statement. He probably invited you. So what if I did, you controlling freak? Agitated query. Nod just forgot his key and needed help, but it's it's fine now. Discombative clarification. I hate that guy. I'm not gonna lie, that static freaked me out a little bit. That static really freaked me out a little bit. So is this the- was that like the concierge bot looking at the security cameras of them or something? I'll sit back for the intro though. I wanna play as the rock hopper penguin with the lightning gun! Minotaur! Chapter 2, Maya. Um, I heard this was supposed to be a half hour demo. We're already running, like, a half hour. That's not something you see every day. I always knew the Royce building was a dump, but I never thought it would just start falling apart one day. The weight of the passenger elevators is blocked. But Maya has a hover car. I love how it's just like, oh, my apartment is collapsing in on itself. Well, that's inconvenient. Let me get- how do I get to the elevator? She often parks it outside her place to fill it up. I hope that she's at home. She can tell me- And how could I have slept through that? Maybe Ollie's right and it's time to cut back on the drinking. Or maybe you slept for a lot longer than you thought you did, Mr. Nod. Oh my god, there's a fucking arm! Oh, that's- that freaked me out a little bit. I was not anticipating- this to be a spooky game. Once upon a time, I dreamt I was a butterfly. You could climb that! Or was it the other way around? 
A butterfly dreamt it was you? Either way, I can't get through there now. What the fuck are you talking about? Nod. That's me. I just got out. Isn't it? What if Ollie locks me up again? I think I forgot the code already. Dude, it was 623. Come on, even I, I'm, I'm on top of this. My, uh... Barrels! Having access stations like this in residential buildings is not quite legal. I don't know what an access station is. But I installed it anyway. Compared to my unregistered workbench, this is just a misunderstanding. You need to Having register a station have a like that is really convenient. We charge things without paying a single lot. Okay. Uh, let's look at the switch back. The swatchbacks. A lock. Ah, I need a key for this son of a gun. It's locked. I think she's the one who usually mm. asks me for help with this stuff. All right. All right. Time to beat meet love interest number like three, I guess. I just got out. Oh, that's oh, not. Ollie locks me up again. No, that's. I let me out. I. Oh, I can just right click. Maya okay. often forgets to lock her door. Coming in! Maya? Maya! No response. Whoa! So bright. Oh, jeez. Maya? Oh, this mood music, though. Oh, window filters work fine. I... Aquaman? I want an Aquaman! I want a sea jelly oh, tank! This guy's the best. Outside domes, these species constantly jump between realities. What? I think. What f what is it? They're like little lamprey things. Floating chair with laundry basket. I have one of those ones. Bonsai! These tiny trees freak me out. It's like on fire. There's something ugh, unnatural about them. Yeah, they're from Moonland. Irene likes them though. Hmm. Seems to be a work in progress. Ooh. Must be one of Maya's models. Or clients. Or Maya! She is the drawing! Of course! Yes! Yes! Huh. It's easier than I thought. Well... Sort of just... Yahtzee'd all over the painting. I'm beige! Alright, we're gonna go for beige person. Beige ocean? Mm, too easy. Too easy! Beige swimsuit! Yes! Blue sand! I don't like sand! It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere! I got plus artwork! I got plus artwork! Look! I, I made it! This is- this is, uh, uh what's it called? Ab abstract art. It's- see, it's really- <laughs> we're- we're- we're a mermaid rising from the ocean and looking at the distant beaches. What beaches- what beaches have white sand? I need someone to check for me. I should have painted the whole thing blue! I'm such a fool! Oh, my one shot to ruin her painting, and I did it in a boring way. All right, next. Lamp! Looks nice. I think it's from the dome city of Tali. Good! What is that? Uh, oh, Balcony! Yeah, we're not gonna invade her bedroom yet. We're gonna go to the balcony. Safety first. Beep boop, beep boop. Let's get out of here. I just need to calm down. And then it's a five minute walk to Novacore Station. Damn it! Uh, interface might still work. Oops. Mr. Pikes, I can't believe it. Are you finally taking me out? Yes, <laughs> I had something very special planned. For Cortana. Just help me fix the car and we'll get there. Well, the onboard battery is dead. Let's start with that. I want a holographic, like, kitty light up eared. Cortana. The cause is mechanical. Try looking around the car. You know, you really messed up my joke when he said, all right, let's get out of here. And I was like, okay. And then was going to leave. And back in we go. Bedroom. Maya, are you there? Mm -hmm. I hope she's just sleeping. Next. Or rather back. Uh, barrels. Box. Give me. Let's take a look inside. If I want to mess with this thing, I need to turn my axis vision on. Axis vision. Is that this? Pfft, I don't need that. Are you kidding me? That's that's easy mode. Maya drew this for me. It should help me figure out what I'm rooting power to. Does it? Oh, I gotta make it not go there. I gotta make it go up here. Okay. 
Um, Maya with a winky face. Yo, this is adorable. Two thousand years later. I hate it. I hate it so much. Ah. Uh, what? How do you do? Sometimes I worry you're losing touch with reality. Y'all. You worry too much, Ollie. One day I'll pick your blue box apart to know why. Anyway, my approach. Whoa, whoa! Did you just say you're gonna pick her box thing, apart? That's not appropriate. So I better hold for on to it. For a wholesome family fun game. What is that for? What is it for? What is this? How do? I hate. Where does this go? There's two other things that this goes to. Why did I do that? Start him up. You go, no. What did, what did I do wrong? What have I- I guess I could use this hole to try and hook a pack to the battery. Are you serious? Oh my god. <sighs> if only it were charged. <laughs> I guess I could- What? How- <sighs> If only it Oh. Uh, you still dead? Shit. That's not enough. Yep, alright. I could eat, but it's getting no juice. How do I juice you? Give me the juice! Give it to me! Give me the juice! Give me! Give it to me! Why would this should work? Oh, it's negative. Oh, oh jeez. Oh no. Oh. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. yes, g huh. yes, good. All right, I did it. I'm smarty pants. Yeah, gimme. I could use, but it's getting no. What you mean it's getting no juice? I juice you. Is you're giving? I got the juice. Look, there it goes. The juice goes all the way along the walls. There's so much juice. There's juice literally everywhere. How do I give you the juice? I got, excuse me, I gotta give him the juice. How do I do it? How do I give him the juice? Gotta give him the juice is what I gotta do. I gotta give him the juice. This should work. Oh, it's a put. This should work. Done. This should power up the station. Good, good. Okay. What did that, what did that do for us? What did, what did powering up the station do? This! All right, how did that cable fit in there? I don't know. Beep boop. Oh, dude, those fast charge cables really work Good in the future. Pack is a full pack. Now I can try and start the onboard battery. The onboard battery must be in- Yeah. Dude, you're already like an hour later to work than you would have been. Let's start the car and see if it worked. Damn it! Just my luck. The tank is empty. <laughs> I told Maya a thousand times to never leave the car with the tank empty. There's something about you and women. It's like they just don't listen to you. No. Oh. Probably be offended, but it does feel that way. It's a good thing I installed an. So why wouldn't you be offended? And hooked it up to our power grid. I should be able to fuel the car with it. Ugh! I tried to do that. You wouldn't let me do it. Close the bars for safety, and we go. Oh my gosh. Give me the pumps. Pump them up. I already did it. Let's do it again. Done. This should power up the station. But I didn't mean to do it. Help! You need to fuel the car, Mr. Pikes. Yeah, I know, Brittany. There's an access pump outside. I'm assisting a criminal. What? I... Uh... uh... I remember the last game I played that was like this. It was Putt Putt Travels Through Time from like 1998. Wait, I gotta go out and do it. Do it! There you go. Show on the road. Yeah, let's I'll go see Irene at Supernova after I talk to the cops. Yeah, let's get some Mirage on the road. What the? Did that blow it up? I think it came from the hallway. Damn it. The access is gone. I've got a bad feeling about this, but I need to check back on the panel. I have a bad feeling about this. I knew I shouldn't have been joking about the explosion. 
Another happy landing. The music's gone and there's a scary face. Oh. Oh. Every time the music's gone, it's just bad. It's just bad. Overload, huh? Uh. Something's definitely wrong with our access grid. And I guess my free lunch is over. I think I did manage to squeeze in a little. I need to go back and try to work with what I got. Good thing Ollie didn't hear that. She'd say this should be my life's motto. That what? That you managed to squeeze in a little? All right, here's the plan. The car will probably move just a few leagues, but we should be- Leagues in outside. air? Are you serious? I don't know whose apartment that is, but it's supposed to connect to the cargo elevator hallway. The cargo elevator operates in a backup access generator, so hopefully it still works and I'll be able to get down. And here I thought you were going to fly me to the moon. Fly me to the moon, I Here goes. want something upon the stars. Stuff really burns. That was so fast. I expected more. I warned you. And now I have to go. You're a selfish man, Mr. Pikes. Let's see if it's going to be my way out. Purgatory? What? Are you serious? Ah! No, oh, the demo ends. But you're a creepy robo girl. And I don't know what's happened. Oh god, look at her. She's going berserk. Oh, she's going berserk. I'm pretty f Oh, so I can voice her because she's not voiced. Anyway, thanks for playing this demo. We appreciate your feedback, so come see us and tell us what you think. Goodbye. Hope we meet again. Let's get the regular game. Oh, wasn't ready for that title screen. Well, that's the demo, you guys. Uh, what did you think? Fucking purgatory? Is where you exit the car into? That's something out of, like... Just that whole scene was something out of, like, KOTOR or something, where it's like, you get in the vehicle after powering it up, and then all the power dies, and then goes out. Uh, or maybe Soma. Soma or, like, Did Spice. Probably Did Spice. I think it was, I think it was like Did Spice, really. I think, I think it was like Did- oh, I, think, I think, I think it was like Did Spice, yeah. yeah it was like, like, like Did Spice. Just setting everything up, and the power goes out. It's like, oh uh, no, I gotta go back down the hallway with debtors everywhere. Well, I do agree, Brandon. It was an interesting game. I haven't played a game like this in a very long time. Like, more than a decade. Easy. Almost two decades, I would say. Haven't played a game like this. But this is really interesting. I do like how the characters do actually happen, like, happen to sound like they have a personality to them. So the voice actors and actresses did a pretty good job, as far as I can tell, so far. Um, I do like it. I would add volume sliders, uh, toggle, uh, voices on and off, or just put the slider for them, have it all the way down to remove them, um, raise them because the music's very loud, and definitely put a slider for the background music with the volume settings because it is very loud, particularly on the intro screen, but in the game it's a little more manageable. It's still a little high though compared to the voice volume. Voice volume should always be significantly above, I want to say, six to eight decibels at least above um, whatever percentage that comes out to be then that's just based on me doing editing for stuff I always raise my recorded voice volume and then lower the game recorded volume so those are really the only two things I have it's a little confusing I would add I would add maybe um in the puzzle part with the fuse box because that was literally half of this playthrough for me probably more than half of this playthrough or at least around half. Um, have like the the light with like the energy or the electricity, the blue electricity or whatever, going through the individual parts so you know what the heck you're doing. Because I had no idea what was happening until I co connected something apparently the right way, like by accident. Like I had to keep going back and rewiring everything over and over again and guessing 
what the fuck they were talking about between like the axis and the power thing. I'm like, I don't know what's what. Everything's axis. I don't know what's powering what doohickey. You didn't give me enough context. So maybe I wasn't using maybe I wasn't using Q or whatever. I wasn't using like the Q of this game. I wasn't using Ollie um, as a, a help button enough. But I, I like to try and figure things out. But it was still that was a tedious puzzle. I hope there's, there's, I know there's gonna be more of them. I hope there's not too many. I hope the other puzzles are more like fun. Obviously multiple options is more fun. I, I don't like it when there's only one way to do things. If you don't do it in a particular order the exact right way, it's, it's, it doesn't work with the game mechanics. When you can skip steps or do things that are redundant, but still work in the end. Cause in reality, that's how things do work. So I would like it if you had multiple options to do that. Taking a battery out of one of the, like, the paint sprayers would have also been an interesting option. Or even, like, taking, like, all the nodes were already there. Having to find the nodes in those, like, paint sprayers or something, or taking them out of uh, the battery pack that was pulled from the, the car, and then using those in the glove box, that would have been more interesting. Also, scavenging stuff is fun. Like, if you got anything out of the debris, or after that explosion, if you went back and then got, like... He said, er er earlier in the game, he said, Screwdriver, most useful thing next to a crowbar. If there was, like, a crowbar in the debris, in the hallway, that you didn't, like, really need, but it would have made later puzzles puzzles easier, that would have been a great thing to add, if you put, like, a crowbar in the, in the debris. Because it also would have tied into, like, what you would think is an offhanded comment that the main character made at the beginning of the game that you ordinarily wouldn't have paid attention to. Because players that do pay it, I always try to pay attention to games like this, because I know how easy it is to miss stuff. It doesn't always work out, but it's rewarding for the players who do try to go through every single little detail. You saw I moused over the whole back screen to see what my options were before picking one. Because I know, like, never to leave the room until you're done with it, because you don't know if you're going to get locked out, which was the case here, you get locked out of the room. So I would have put, like, a crowbar or something there and give you more options later on. I would have put, um, not required, because you obviously didn't need all those nodes. If you scavenged the nodes, like, and found them, like, on your workbench, if you found some there, some in the little, like, paint spray things that you just play with as, like, an extra to make it easier, um, and then some in, like, the car, some in the debris or whatever. So that will give you, like, more options to make the, the route connect easier. Otherwise, like, you only need a minimum few, but then you only have, like, one or two options to connect the routes. Something like that, just to give more options to the, to the choices of the game. Because I do like the aesthetic, and I'm very interested in what the heck that creepy android thing was. Like, I really want to find that out, and I'm definitely going to get this game and play it when it comes out. Because I think it has the potential to be very fun. I do think you should try to make... I, it's probably like already done at this point. But I do think that you guys, for the developers, should try to make puzzles more open-ended. Or have more solutions to one puzzle. Rather than make it be, oh, just do it this way. Then come back and do it. In, and then go somewhere else. Come back and do it again in that step one, step two, step three order. Making it so that you can do like step two, step three, step one and then have multiple ways to do that is a lot more fun and engaging. So I understand making it like that being hard to put into a game that's like not even a Kickstarter yet, but just my input, I think it would make it a lot more fun if you could work at least a few of those in, maybe one like one really big, like interesting like puzzle, like for each level as it were. Cause I guess we got to the second one, Purgatory, that room with the Android. But yeah, it was a fun game. Thanks for letting me test out the demo and I'm gonna be looking out for it when it comes out. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little short stream when we were testing it, and I'll catch all you guys later. Bye bye Alessandra is creepy. She's very, very creepy.